Ken Surfs here, and it's time for a weekend shave. I'm gonna be going out to dinner tonight with another couple. Uh, my wife and I are going out with uh, my good friend, my best man from my wedding, and his wife. So we're heading out for a dinner, and my wife requested that I put some uh, Johnny Cupcakes uh, hair gel in, or pomade in the hair tonight. So if it's looking like I'm a 20s gangster, that's because I've got the pomade in today. Catching up on some of the requests, and I'm going to be using for the first time today, uh, somebody had asked what I thought of the Adidas Pulse, and I ended up buying this online. Let's see. It comes in a nice box. Where's she made? Let's see. Skin protecting complex, developed for athletes. Made in under license, registered. Made in Spain. There we go. Made in Spain. So Adidas Pulse. So we'll be trying that for the first time today. I'm going to be using my Wolf Whiskers Synthetics. I'm going to soak this as we're uh, sitting there. I haven't brought out the Wolf Whiskers. And this is actually going to be for you cartridge razors. Uh, your cartridge razor shavers. I'm bringing out one of my classics today. I haven't used it in a while. And it's the Gillette Sensor XL. And these vintage ones are becoming very, very, very collectible. Uh, they're very, very expensive. You used to be able to find them for three or four bucks for the handle. And if you could find them with the, I mean, mine's kind of getting a little worn now. The mirror's starting to come off. But uh, it has a compartment to hold your blades. And these were really go-to things in the 80s. They still make a version of them, but it does not look like this anymore. And I think in Europe, uh, you guys have the black handle, or it's got like uh, black slots in the handle there. So these ones, though, very, very collectible. And by request, some of you have asked, hey, can I do another shave with it? So if you don't want to see a cartridge shave, don't watch. I'm going to be using, uh, for the love of leather, from Skullbusters soaps today. And uh, I've used it before. Got a really, really nice leather smell to it. I'm gonna wet my face here. I got the mustache coming in for my Halloween costume. As I said, I'm going as a Tom Selleck or a Magnum PI. I've got the same shirt that he wore in uh, the series from uh, Hawaii. In fact, I had to go buy another one because uh, I used to wear extra large and now I'm down to a large, so I actually, that's a good thing. Yeah, I put too much water in here, as you can see. So some of you are going to say, hey, it's too thin. But man, it does smell good. Yeah, definitely thin. Get some of that water out of there. See what we can do. Love the Wolf Whiskers brush, man. Have not used that in a while, and this is the synthetic version. There we go. I'll wet the uh, mustache anyway. Some of you guys in Europe, maybe mine goes with subtitles, my videos. Of course I record it in English, but maybe it translates for you, because a lot of you are asking why, why are you growing out the mustache, and uh, it's for Halloween. Although, I don't know if I'm going to have it very much longer because it's pissing my wife off. She says, grow the goatee. I don't like the mustache. You look like a 20s villain. Don't like it. But we'll see what happens. Oh, the sensor XL. I actually have to... They, they still have the 5 and the 10 packs of vintage blades for this. Original sensor blades available on eBay. And they're, they're about 10 bucks for... Uh, Five, but sometimes if you buy them in quantity, you can get a better price. And if you're a cartridge razor, a cartridge user, man, I really like the vintage stuff. I've got the vintage Atra. I've got the solid silver Atra handle. One. I haven't used that in quite a while. Or maybe it's silver plated, but bitchin' bitchin' razor if you're into cartridge razors. 
You've seen me though. I have several razors, DEs, cartridge. It's an addiction, collection. And I'm using a vintage Sensor XL blade in here too. But I do have to get, uh, I do have to get some new blades. So, are you having a good weekend? I had a Friday off and I went to uh, the Disneyland Resort, California Adventure. And I ended up going by myself because my wife, daughter, and I have the season pass now. So uh, you can get the Southern California season pass. So you can go on limited times to both parks on certain days. I have the Southern California Select Pass. It's kind of a discounted pass for people who live in Southern California. But uh, it saves a ton of money. But when I go with my wife and daughter to California Adventure, there's several rides they will not go on. The uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, formerly the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. They will not go on that. They will not go on... Uh, California Screaming, formerly, now it's the Incredicoaster. So I just went, and in three hours, I zipped through five of the biggest rides in that park. Had lunch, and came home. It's great. So now when I go this week with them, in the evening, I don't have to worry when they say, I don't want to go on that ride, we'll go on the other rides. The Cars ride or stuff like that. Fortunately, in the main park in Disneyland, they go on about everything. I think I told you my original one got dumped. This one I bought uh, off eBay. The one I used for years was underneath the cabinet when I stopped using cartridge razors. And uh, we cleaned out. I think my wife dumped it. It wasn't being used. But man, they're, they're vintage and they're hard to come across now. Probably because a lot of uh, these YouTube shave channels talk about it. Then everybody wants one. I was There was one for $27. Uh, it was three handles and this, and I got outbid. Uh, I'm still looking for them. But you know, I keep the old uh, the old Atra handles too. And Atra blades are really easy to find and they have some good replacements. Here's another Atra, uh, Atra handle from the 70s. And again, I think it's in Europe or Australia. I see you can still get the Sensor XL, but again, I think it's blue handle and it just definitely looks a little different. No cuts. All right. To me, this kind of has a neutral smell. Does it even say? Developed with athletes, skin protectant, complex, dynamic pulse, but it's, it's got kind of a very soft, neutral smell to it. I'm pouring a lot on here. Oh, it burns. Oh, it burns good. It's got alcohol in it, boys. Whoa, nice, nice, nice. All right, I smell it a little nicer now. Got a little bit of the barbershop smell to it made in Spain. I did have to go online to find this. Did not find it locally. It may be locally, but I didn't go, I didn't see it at the CVS or the usual places that I go to look. So have you guys tried that before? It's very inexpensive. Kind of a go-to thing. Done. Perfect.
Now I'm ready for some either Mexican food or Italian food, wherever they want to go. I don't care. Hungry. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'm getting caught up on some of your requests. And I look forward to doing another video real soon. And good luck to everybody who's entering that uh, 7,000 subscriber giveaway. Uh, good luck to all of you. That'll be ending on Wednesday. So if you haven't seen that video, it's like re I released it two videos before this one. So you can go back and take a look. All right. Thanks, everybody. And until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night.